In the previous video, we talked about the DTOs or the payload that we had implemented for our application. And the email request looked like this. It had the email, subject, body, date, time, and the time zone. We had the email response, which included the success of sending the email, the job ID and job group of our quads job that we scheduled, and the message that we uh, received back about whether the email was rightly scheduled or not. In this video, we'll talk about uh, starting to implement our email scheduler controller, which handles the API endpoints for our application. So before we start implementing, we'll, we need to get in touch with two important concepts that we are going to use while we schedule our application. The first important concept is job detail and the second is the trigger. So let's uh, revise what they mean first. So a job detail represents an instance of a job. It also contains additional data in the form of a job data map that is passed to the job when it is executed. So uh, the job data map or the job detail will include the email of the person to whom we are sending the email, the subject, the body, all of the information that we get from the email request. And the job data map will hold that for the particular job and will be passed to that job when it is executed. Now, every job detail is identified by a job key that consists of a name and a group. A name being the job ID, group being the job group which we have inside our email request. The name must be unique within a group. Now comes the trigger. So a trigger, as the name suggests, defines the schedule at which the given job will be executed. So the trigger basically uh, tells Quartz when should the job be well triggered. A job can have many triggers, but a trigger can only be served with one job. So uh, we need to you know, read that again. So a job can have many triggers. So one job can have many triggers, but only one trigger can be associated to one job. Now, every trigger is also defined by a trigger key, which compromises of a name and a group. The name must be unique within a group. Just like job details, the triggers can also send data to the job. Now, these are the two very important uh, components of quads that we'll be using to create our uh, job detail and trigger for our API. We'll also be using the trigger builder and job builder, which is basically an API to construct these two uh, above. So let's get started. Let's start creating our uh, job detail. So we'll have a private. So I've left some space here to actually uh, implement the API, but for now, for this video, we'll be implementing the job detail and the job trigger. So private job detail build job detail so this is going to be our application which deals with making the job and it is going to have the email request and schedule email request as our arguments and yeah so let's import all the functions that we are supposed to like classes and yeah so let's initialize it first so job data map job data map equal to new job so this is basically a map a, a very typical map which quartz uses and we put on the information that we need to pass on to the, to the job execution when we you know sh uh, schedule it so job data map dot put and uh, you can uh, predict what we're going to do here. So we'll have the email which is going to be schedule dot get email. Next, so the same thing again, and we do it for the subject and the body. So we have the subject, and this again becomes get subject great and the next thing is for the body sorry about that this becomes body and this becomes get body great so now we have the job data map which is going to pass the information to the job and schedule the email using the email subject and body which the job data map has now let's build our job detail using the job builder uh, api so return job builder dot a new job and now it will be dot with 
identity and the identity is going to be UUID dot random UID dot to string so a random name a unique number name and uh, random name and the group is going to be email jobs now the next thing which we need to have is with description and the description is going to be send an email job the next part is using the job data map so using job data and the job data is going to be job data map so this is the um, information that will be passed to the job next is going to be store durability so this basically tells uh, quads to show, store the jobs even without a trigger and persist them in the database and the final comes with the build so the build takes care of building the job now uh, the new job takes in a parameter and that parameter is basically the class in which the job is implemented so the class which handles scheduling of the email the meat of our quads application that is that will be passed out here so let me just create it right now so email job dot class now we haven't created email job yet so let's go ahead and create it now so we'll create a new package first and it'll be a quartz dot job and inside this we have our email job class so let's go back ahead here and let's import this so that we don't have any errors for now and great so this has to implement uh, a job so let's make sure it does that um, let's go here and uh, we should do implements quartz job b and uh, when we implement the quartz theme we need to have a function here so let me just write that for now so we override protected wide execute internal and this is going to have the job execution context here So it doesn't like implement it extends it my bad and yeah so this is going to be the meat of our application and we'll be implement this uh, in some time but for now let's go back to our email uh, scheduler controller and this is the implementation for building a job detail next comes implementing the job trigger so let's go ahead and uh, work with that now so here we do a private trigger build trigger and this takes in the job detail job detail and it also takes in the zoned date time or basically when do we actually start scheduling the email or start the trigger and let's import this from quotes and now we can start implementing it so we'll just go right ahead and build our trigger so we'll do a trigger builder dot new trigger dot for job and it's going to be the job detail dot with identity and the identity is going to be job detail dot get key dot get name name of our job and the group is going to be email triggers the next part is the description so with description so we send email trigger and we start at and we do a date dot from and start at dot to instant so this is going to be the start time for our trigger when this should the trigger actually uh, be triggered and with oh sorry dot with schedule 
and we'll do a simple scheduler builder dot a simple schedule which basically does with misfire handling fire now so we'll come back to this and what this actually means and what is actually happening here but for now this is how we are going to schedule it and whenever there's a mishandle it'll just show us the mishandling fire misfire handling instructions and fire it again uh, all you have to do is dot build and this is basically how we implement our trigger so the trigger has uh, the for job which includes the job details which are using identity is the unique name and group description start at at the point where it should start and the schedule is basically a simple schedule which uh, fires it with uh, a misfire handling instruction and builds it using the trigger builder api now we have a job detail and job uh, uh, job trigger the next part is to implement the post api which takes in the email request and then schedules our job so we'll continue that in the next video thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one